today i'll be talking about clinical approach to pregnancy and fertility uh the journey of parenthood is a beautiful one and by the means of this presentation i'll try and give you insights of how one can prepare and optimize chances of conceiving a healthy baby right so straight off the bat i think it's uh, really important that a proper comprehensive medical history is taken for both the partners who are involved um now i think a lot of us we when we talk about medical history i think the first thing that comes to our mind is their physical well being but let me assure you that mental well being of not just uh, these people who are trying to conceive but everyone who comes to you is equally important so similarly for a, a couple who's trying to conceive a proper thorough mental health um, history is of the utmost importance um any history of depression or anxiety in the family should be noted because more often than not these patients are on some kind of medications that may affect their chances with fertility uh then the very obvious i think uh, we need to rule out all the medical conditions that a couple would have these may not uh, these may include but not be limited to pcos endometriosis um sexually transmitted diseases so on and so forth um uh, medications um so as is the case with every thorough medical history taking i think asking the um intended couple to um, about their medications is as important as everything else um there are various medications that if um a partner if a person who's trying to conceive if they are on these certain medications it may make their journey towards a successful pregnancy quite difficult um uh, if i had to take a couple of examples um i think most obvious would be your antipsychotic or antidepressants wherein <clears throat> you would have uh, something like a citalopram or a seroteline now these um these can elevate the prolactin levels in the blood this can increase the time that it takes for these people to conceive if they are undergoing any sort of infertility treatment this would prolong the time it takes for the success of these infertility treatments um citalopram seroteline can also lead to miscarriages and preterm births there are other examples as well um uh if you talk about steroids um cortisone prednisolone uh that you uh, that are generally uh, prescribed to patients for asthma or lupus i think these can prevent the um, release of the very important hormones that are required for ovulation and then and thereby they can affect uh, the chances of these people at pregnancy um uh, chemotherapy again you know these uh, chemotherapy drugs are extremely toxic to ovaries these may lead to infertility which may or may not be treated uh, and lastly uh, these days there are uh, there are quite a few skin products that have uh, hormones like estrogen progesterone hyaluronic acid which may interfere with the normal hormonal balance of the body and thereby it may lead to you know a difficulty in conception uh lastly i wanted to touch upon uh, family history i think family history is as important as everything else um we need to rule out any genetic disorders that may affect pregnancy and if anyone is trying to undergo an infertility treatment this needs to be noted down uh, and <laughs> Uh, you know reminded once we've started because we may have to approach a different uh, we may have to approach it differently if there is a, name, a known cause of 
uh, genetic disorders for these people.